Yeah, I'm real proud of our guys. Uh, you know, this is a great atmosphere against a really, really, really good team. Uh, they're a great team. Uh, very well coached, obviously. Legendary coach and his assistants do a great job. I thought it was just a heavyweight bout, you know. Uh, we jumped out. And uh, I thought we executed our game plan. Holton is as advertised. He's very, very hard to find. Uh, you know, I don't care how much you say stay behind the ball, stay behind the ball. He's extremely hard to find, and his changeup has a lot of depth and a lot of movement to it. So I thought we came out and executed our game plan. We were able to grab a lead. And, uh, you know, we just weren't able to get off the field with two outs. That's just the bottom line. And uh, anytime you have a great program on the ropes like that, you have to finish. And uh, both of these teams, you're going to have to, to, to finish them to get them. They're not going to give you anything. They're not going to give up. They're not going to surrender. And that goes for us, too. You're going to have to finish somebody to get to Omaha. And we had that opportunity today and let it slip. Uh, our guys will be hungry. Uh, this tomorrow will be our fifth elimination game. And so uh, this is nothing new to us. We'll be ready to rock and roll bright and early. Uh, questions for Coach of the Student Athletes? Coach, on that, I mean, the fifth elimination game, how much confidence does your team still play with after this game, knowing that you're back to against the wall before? Yeah, it's, we're, we're fine, you know. It, it, it's still, you have to win. I've been in, I've been in their situation plenty of times, too. Uh, it's jubilation. It's joy. But the, at the end of the day, you've got to win twice to go to Omaha. And uh, we still have two cracks at this deal. And so uh, as long as there is life in us, I promise you we're in the fight. I can guarantee it. I also want to ask about the fan base you had out here today. I also got 350 fans coming to see you guys. What did that mean to you as coaches? It's awesome. Uh, you know, Sam Houston State is an incredible university uh, with unbelievable passion and support. And, uh, you know, like I said the other day, this is family, man. This is family for us, and uh, family gets behind us. We can feel the love. We can feel the support, and that's driving us. I thought we played a heck of a ball game. Our defense today was tremendous. Uh, came up with a couple of big knocks, found ways to get on base. Uh, we just, like I said, just weren't able to get off the field, and that happens. Right, so after the third inning, uh, you guys had only uh, managed uh, one more run after that, uh, after generating so much offense. Uh, were, were there any changes that you noticed, whether it was from the, the pitchers or uh, what Florida State did defensively? Uh, maybe we were just trying to do too much up there. Maybe we were getting out of our game plan just a little bit. But no, I mean, you got to tip their caps to them. They came in and, you know, they filled up the strike zone and uh, we just didn't get the big hit. That was what I would say. Any more questions? Coach, uh, the relief pitchers came in, uh, looked, looked good at times, but. Uh, uh, that big inning there, the, the seventh, uh, they got three straight, uh, two out run scoring hits. Uh, you know, was there anything that you were you were seeing from uh, Mills and Robinson there? No, I mean tip your cap to to Walls, who is. Uh, without a doubt, one of the best shortstops we've played this year. He started that whole thing with a drag bomb, and. Uh, that's fine, okay? We have got a three run lead at the time, that's fine, but we can't compound it with we walk the next hitter. And uh, that's kind of how that whole thing started. We weren't able to get off the ballpark or off the field. Uh, that's fine, they tied it up. It's our job to, to have Dakota's back right there, come back in and score. And uh, so, uh, like I said, that was a heavyweight bout, both teams going at it. It was a great game, I'm sure it was super entertaining. Uh, great atmosphere, this place is awesome. Uh, I think our kids love playing here today. And we'll be looking forward to playing them all. Bryce, you guys are normally really good with getting a lead, holding on to it, just kind of keeping a lot of distance. Today, when the comeback Florida State started to mount, what was the message among the hitters to try and continue to add on? I mean, we just try to stay with the same game plan. I thought we stick uh, stuck with it, and uh, they just they you got to tip the caps to them again. They got those big hits, and then they put up a three spot. I mean, and like Coach Jake said, we got to come back and have Dakota's back right there. And uh, tomorrow we, we'll make sure you know we come back and do that. I wanted to get your thoughts on the uh, obviously game where you had a five-one lead and, and to come back tomorrow, uh, elimination game, try to try to stay alive and force the force the Monday game. Yeah, man, we have nothing to lose, you know. Uh, our deal is we don't want to come out of this with any regrets, and I don't have any regrets about that game that we just played. Um, I thought we played hard. They just had a few more big hits than what we did. We need to capitalize a little better. Yeah. Coach, what about the, the decision with the uh, starting pitch and what went into that uh, you know, with uh, Heath Donica? So. I think, uh, you know, I like the matchup. I like uh, our lefties. 
and uh, I like you know keeping them off balance a little bit and running them in there, running them out of there. And now you know, let me ask you: uh, Would you feel better if you had Johnny Holstaff going tomorrow or Heath Donica? I think we feel pretty good having Heath Donica go. Uh, so. Uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, that was our game plan. We did it in a regional. It gives Heath another day off, uh, another day of rest, and it gives us a chance to get the lay of the land a little bit. It's a really good ball club over there. Any more questions? Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.